What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jungle back to another video and today we are back in the garage with the F80 like I said part two um, So a lot of you guys said in the comments. Hey Nord, don't install the JB4 You do not have the crank hook upgrade and you're possibly end up spinning your crank and I'm like you know, I tried to convince myself, you know, I am one of the few that won't have that issue, but I did it on the M4 and I feel like I'm gonna regret it if I don't do it on the M3. So it looks like we will have to push back on the tune. So the JB4 will have to wait. For those of you guys asking why I went with the JB4, the reason I went with the JB4, well, first off is because it came with this kit that I told you guys was a very good deal. This whole kit, it included the tune, included the intercooler, included everything. If you just wanna get the intercooler alone from other places, the cooler itself is $2,000. This entire kit with the intakes, charge pipes, intercooler, everything you need, including the tune, is a little over $2,000, which is a really good deal. So I'm gonna rock the JB4. I absolutely love the JB4, especially on my E-chassis cars. They were absolutely amazing. With F-chassis cars, I actually like the JB4, but I also do like the boot mode three. So I'm gonna be trying to rock both of them on this car. Like, I do some JB4 videos. I do some boot mode three videos. So I'll be doing them both. But for those of you guys asking why I went with the JB4, again, because it came with the kit, and this is an undeniably good deal. And there's nothing wrong with the JB4. It is an absolutely amazing tune. And we're gonna definitely have some fun with this before we actually end up switching it up. If we end up switching it up. If, it's a, if, if I end up enjoying it a little too much, we paired up with MHD, we might just keep it. But again, again, we'll see, we'll see. I do plan on running boot mode three on this car. So for those of you guys who are wondering if I'm gonna be doing boot mode three on this car, definitely will be, don't worry. But yeah, as you guys know from the last video, we got the intakes in there, we got both of the charge pipes in there, we did the spark plugs, ignition coils, everything is, in terms of maintenance is done other than the crank hub. So at this point, let's go ahead, we're gonna have to move the V-brakes again, uh, just to give us a little bit more leeway with this tank, we can move the tank we can access the charge pipe because there's another charge pipe down there and then remove the intercooler and uh, just do everything else we need to do right here so again we're replacing the intercooler and charge pipe and uh, hopefully it's gonna be too hard of a job obviously with this intercooler unlike other BMWs this one actually has some coolant lines attached to it so uh, yeah we're gonna be trying to do this and siphon as much coolant as we can and reuse it if we can for those of you guys who are enjoying the F80 build make sure to smash that like button I absolutely love this car and I just can't believe I actually have this in my possession and again I just have to thank you guys for this because honestly, I wouldn't have this car without you guys. And every day I drive this thing and I meet some of you guys on the road, again, I wouldn't have this car if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity. And without further ado, let's go ahead and install some more mods that I'm also blessed to have the opportunity to do. Oh man, God bless. It's Christmas all year long. Oh my Lord, burger tuning boys. So now that we have the intercooler out of the way, now it gives us perfect access to this charge pipe down here. So this is a super easy charge pipe to disconnect. You just have one connection down here and then you pretty much have a single use, uh, pretty much like clip that sits right on here. I'll show you guys how you pull that out. So how this thing works guys, it's a one time use clip. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is push down on it. Just like that, come on. Yep, just like that. Once I pulled it out, now I'm just gonna use some pliers and just pull on. Oh, actually, I think I just pulled that with my hand. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. There we go, big boys. All right, actually, that was very easy. So, so yeah, once you have this out, guys, at this point, we can take out the J-pipe.
and good morning guys this is the next morning so yeah we pretty much got the intakes on the charge pipes off and the intercooler on at this point we just need some down pipes in a tune but um, considering your current circumstances, you guys know that we need, we need a crank hub job. So I already went ahead and hit up SSR Performance and I was hoping to schedule an appointment hopefully the next couple weeks. We'll see how that works out. So we could try to get a crank hub on this car and at the same time actually they have downpipes so we might even try to get some downpipes from them and also get it installed right then and there as well. So we'll go straight from a crank hub job to downpipes and then we'll be good to rock and roll. Guys, my allergies are so bad this morning, but I also wanted to mention something else with this video. So like I told you guys, I've been wanting to start an M collection. I want a bunch of different M cars on this channel, but something I currently ran into uh, really, like it's not a but, it's actually an amazing thing. Right now in Arizona, I'm going to pop the car right here. Um, so they actually have a Lime Rock in stock, like a, a E92 2013, like real Lime Rock um, M3, which is absolutely insane. For those of you guys who don't know what a Lime Rock M3 is, it's an orange M3. Um, there's only like one of, like there's only 200 in the world ever created. They're like a competition package and they have like some other like things that are like specific for that car, not just the paint job. Like this is Atlantis blue paint job. It's an individual paint job. It's pretty awesome but a Lime Rock is not just a paint job, like the car is called a Lime Rock. It's not just, it goes further than just the paint color. It hit Copart, which is just crazy to see. It's in Arizona, so it's not too far. But the thing is, they're retailing the car around $60,000, and it's totaled from the rear end quarter panel like really badly. But just take a look at the picture, guys. I think it's absolutely insane to see one of these cars in Copart, and I'm sure somebody's gonna go ahead and get it and rebuild it and keep it for themselves for one of the cheapest Lime Rocks out there. I did the math that it's supposed it's likely going to be ending around thirty to 35000 for the car that's without the fees from Copart, without taxes, registration, everything. So realistically, let's just say it's going to be thirty five dollars out the door. But that's just for the car and then repairs, you're looking at probably another like honestly realistically $6,000. So $41,000 for a salvage Lime Rock. I don't know guys, is it worth it? Um, I mean, I honestly don't even have the money for it. I was literally thinking about selling my wife's car, selling the truck and then me and her are going to go 50-50 into it. But then we still won't have enough money for the repairs. I mean, I probably just went a little crazy thinking about I should get that car, but it is, it is just, it's just because it's such an insane car. But yeah, guys, for those of you guys who wanted a Lime Rock, I mean, here's your opportunity to get one. I'm gonna be honest. I, I really hope one of you guys get it. One of y'all send me the pictures that you guys got the car and you build the car. And I would love to come check it out. A Lime Rock has honestly always been a dream of mine. I've absolutely always loved that car. For those of you guys who don't know Kevin, Kevin owns a Lime Rock and a GT, uh, I believe like a GTS M4. He has some pretty crazy cars. And his Lime Rock, I've always, I, I've asked him like, how much would you sell it to me? For. And uh, he has one of the highest mileage ones, I believe. I'm not really too sure. I mean, I know he daily drives it, so I'm assuming it's one of the higher end mileage ones. And I was hoping to be able to afford that one, but they're just such, like, they're very, very expensive. I'm gonna be real. But anyway, on another note, guys, let me know what you guys think about that car. I'll be booking an appointment soon with SSR, hoping to get the crank hub done. We'll be pushing some power on this car. I'm super excited for that. Um, obviously, all this power stuff they're gonna be pushing is not gonna be on public roads. You're gonna be taking it out of the track, enjoying it for the first time on the track with Blake. Blake is a huge track guy. He absolutely he loves it. He goes to time attack events, like track events, a bunch of different things. And uh, I'm gonna, I cannot wait to start joining him, get myself a little helmet, possibly get a little roll cage back here as well, just to, you know, safety first. And I've always wanted to make this car a show car, but a nice track car is a show car. So, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be sick. Right now, I'm actually headed to Sam's Club. My wife's not really feeling so good, and uh, I feel like she loves Sam's Club sushi. So I'm just gonna go ahead, head over there for breakfast, get her some sushi, because, I mean, I love sushi in the morning as well. We typically get like the avocado wraps um, sometimes uh, I don't even know what the other ones are called like the dragon whatever but those are really good even for breakfast so uh, yeah let me go ahead and cop that real quick to think I'm a good husband. And we're back in the car, guys. As I was heading out, there's this one person, this one guy who was like, hey, bro, good job. And I was like, oh, he knows what's going on. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get home, edit this video for you guys, get it out and spend the rest of the day with my girl. She needs me today. But I am excited to also say that hopefully the next video got a lot of aesthetic mods. I know a lot of you guys like aesthetic mods as well. So we got a lot of that coming up as well. And hopefully the next coming up video. So make sure to smash the like button if you guys are excited for that. I know we got the GTS hood. We have a couple other things for like the under, under like panels of the car. We have some aesthetic things, some more carbon, some more interior pieces. So yeah, things are coming in. Um, and also 
new lights. So, uh, oh my God, like this car is gonna look so good, guys. With that further, you guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.